For me to tell you guys that I am not a huge fan of Pokemon would be straight up lying to your faces. I am probably the biggest fan of Pokemon in my friends group. And that's saying a lot, considering my friends group revolves around Pokemon. I don't talk about Pokemon much on this channel. In fact, I think I've only mentioned Pokemon twice. I could be wrong. You can quote me on that if you want to. For those of you curious, the majority of these games have their cases. I just couldn't fit them all in one shot with their cases included. So after this video is done, I will be putting them back in their cases and back on display. Why specifically Gen 2? Other than Cinequil being the starter. Well, because this was actually the generation they introduced uh, Speakun. Speakun is by far my favorite legendary, just in totality. So when they announced the Walking Awake for Scarlet and Violet, I was absolutely 100% there. I got him day one. And I did it myself, by myself, with a bunch of bots, and I suffered for a couple hours until I got him, and he is the lead of my team. He is my guy. But I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant when it comes to generation two cartridges. Uh, now, the problems I'm gonna talk about aren't exclusive to gen two. However, uh, considering I don't have any gen one cartridges uh, on me at the moment, we're just gonna be talking as if gen two is the only one, although it is not. Generation 2 used SRAM, which is an acronym. I don't know what for. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to get flamed in the comments for being stupid. I do know what it does. I do know what it mean, uh, what it does, and how it affects the game. SRAM is when you have a save data chip that requires a constant voltage to remember data, which is why there's a battery in there. If this battery were to die, which this battery has just been replaced, it was replaced in front of me when I bought it. So this cartridge is good for a good couple of uh, years. I would say around six or seven. Uh, but if, let's say you spent a hundred hours perfecting your Pokedex and you're really proud of your save file, and let's say you even caught, you even caught a shiny Hoot Hoot, who knows? But let's say your battery dies, guess what? gone snap of a finger and there's literally no way to bring it back it's it's that bad now this type of save system didn't end with the Game Boy Color and in fact uh, my copy of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance which is newer than the Game Boy Color actually uses SRAM now, not all copies of that game did. Uh, in fact, most copies of the game used FRAM, which is slower than SRAM, but didn't require a battery to function. So, why am I talking about SRAM? Why am I talking about something people already knew about? Well, I bought something called a Joey Jr. And at the time of recording this video, I bought it today. And today is a Saturday, and I bought it from a company who is a small business. Um, so it's going to take until at least April 3rd to get here at maximum, according to the shipping company. Which is fine, I'm in no rush. But what the Joey Jr. will need to do to soothe my massive amount of anxiety when it comes to the longevity of my save file is... Uh, the Joey Jr. will allow me to uh, back up and uh, upload my save file to my computer so that in the event that my battery dies or I test the voltage and it's getting a little low for comfort, then I would be able to back up my save file, replace the battery, which by the way, by removing the battery, your save file gets Thanos snapped out of existence. And then, when I install the new battery, I can reload the save file, and it's as if it never happened. And this rant is not about the Joey Jr. 
but I'm just saying that it is an option available. It cost me 52 American dollars after shipping. I bought it through an American seller. It is a European product. Um, I don't know exactly where in Europe, I just know it's not American. But that will soothe my anxiety about this a little bit. Um, so far, I am about 30 minutes into the game. But the big thing is, is that I want to take my time with this game. I don't want to speedrun to the end of the story. I grew up playing Silver specifically as a kid. And uh, I knew Crystal existed. I just really played the heck out of Silver. And one morning I woke up and my save was gone. So... I don't know what to do with a copy of Silver. I was a child. Good chance. I, I didn't throw it away. I wasn't a wasteful child. I probably sold it to a GameStop or something. But uh, the local game store had contacted me. Uh, so they had called me up and they were like, Hey, Travis, we have a copy of Crystal. Would you be interested in buying it from us? And I said, absolutely. How much do you want for it? And he said, $150. And I said, that's a big yikes. I don't know what to tell you. And he said, uh, as an act of goodwill, he will go ahead and replace the battery and uh, basically deep clean the board. So this cartridge is basically brand new. So I got there and I watched him do it and I paid the 150 for it. Uh, I ended up paying like 162 after taxes because South Carolina state taxes kind of suck. But uh, I am never getting rid of this copy of Crystal, mostly because the resale value is only going to go up the longer I had it. And that's not to say I'm gonna resell it later. I was just trying to state that if I were to get rid of it and then buy it later, it would only cost me more money. My starter is obviously Syndicate. You probably already pieced that together. And Splatoon, I've already said this, I'm not gonna say it again. Uh, there isn't much more I have to say about Crystal, uh, other than the fact that uh, the Japanese copy of Crystal, actually on the back here, actually has uh, the Suicune logo. Uh, on the Japanese version, the PCB is actually white. It has the same hexagon on the back. Uh, and it's it's pretty cool. Without further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And leave a like, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about Crystal.